Oh, 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 oh. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of weird since the new Avengers movie hasn't yet come out. And Spider-Man is going to be, at that movie, he's going to be pretty happy about his life and everything. So it would seem that nothing really bad happens in the new Avengers movie. At least uh, Spider-Man and Nick Fury. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was weird. Uh, I sort of after I saw the trailer because there's that line what just, just happened. happened. Mm. I I felt the same way because mm. well, obviously they have to since they're churning out movies at this rate. They yeah. have to sort of spoil a bit mm. of what's going to happen in the Avengers movie. And obviously, Spider-Man is a safe bet because we knew he's no. just started out, no. uh, and there's. The, the first movie was so successful that mm. there, there was going to be a second one, so they can't really kill Spider-Man. No. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know what's going to happen in in Endgame, uh, but but this sort of hints at people not actually dying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we, I, I don't know. But maybe be staying on topic of Spider-Man, uh, I remember there was a Spider-Man comics story where he goes to Berlin with Wolverine mm, and accidentally yeah. kills somebody. Mm. And it's the first time, I think, that Spider-Man kills somebody mm. and he has like nightmares about it for years. Mm. And it, it's an accident, but it sort of... Um, I don't know whether this is in any way connected to that. Yeah. Uh, but that was one of the Spider-Man stories that really stuck to my head afterwards because Spider-Man's always been the goody two-shoes. Mm. He's never, you know, he has proper problems with u using his power to the fullest, mm. full extent if it hurts people. So but there wasn't a hint of that in the trailer itself. It just, you know, it brought back memories of that. Mm. And Jake Gyllenhaal again. Yeah. Um, I, I knew that th there was... You know, he posted like something on Instagram or something like that on with his his wearing a mysteri oh. the Mysterio yeah. outfit. What the? F and I've sort of Mysterio's r been a weird villain in the in the in the Spider-Man <coughs> comics, but I've I've sort of thought he was cool. No. He's so weird that he's cool. Mm. He looks like a fucking spaceman from yeah. the 1960s, but he, there's something cool about him. And it's weird because in this one, he doesn't seem to be necessarily be the actual villain. Or maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But, I mean, he's, he's battling like Sandman and, no. and uh, what's the guy, the, 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 the water guy? I don't know. Cyclone or something like that. I can't there remember. There is a water guy. So it's yeah, there, like there is a water guy because I remember that they combined, Sandman and the water guy combine at some point mm. and they become this sludge man, this... This, this, this... Water, sand. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Um, and considering the fact that they've already used Sandman in one of mm. the Spider-Man movies, it's, you know... Well, he is a classic yeah. Spider-Man villain, but still. Yeah, it seems sort of like a run-of-the-mill movie, in a way, because um, it's sort of... Um, I like the first new Spider-Man movie... But at the moment, if I have any, like, if I have a Marvel movie that I'm awaiting for, it's going to be Captain Marvel and then the Avengers thing, because they are sort of connected to the same yeah. event. And this is just something, it seems like a light, funny movie, but yeah. nothing more, really. Yeah, but it is, I think that it is, uh, uh, again, a coordinated thing in the way that they're moving Spider-Man away from New York. Mm. They're situating the whole story somewhere else where you can't see what actually happens yeah. in the major thing. So, so it's, it, it's a sly way of trying to release something that doesn't divert our attention yeah. away from 
really, really, really hoping to see what happens in any mm. game. So um, I think it's a fairly smart move. I, I don't know. I mean, the first I, I felt that it was similar to the first Spider-Man movie then in that it it stands on its own uh, as a Spider-Man mm. thing. Yeah. Because when Spider-Man's been a part of the whole, when he was part of, of, of uh, Infinity War, he's part of Endgame at some, on some level, and then he was part of Civil War. Mm. In all those things, he, he reverts to being sort of a part of a bigger team and sort of the, the guy who everybody kicks around. Yeah. And in, in the Spider-Man movies, he's, you know, he's, finding himself yeah, kind yeah. of way and but yeah. he's not like the 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 kid mm. out of the group who everybody yeah. just you know sort of makes fun of yeah. in a way um hopefully it'll be good because the last spider-man movie uh, actually the best spider-man movie that i've seen so far mm. was was the new animated one that was really good but but the second best one was uh, was the previous yeah. previous one so yeah i think uh and also interesting, I mean, they had that uh, reveal in the end of the first movie, but it, it'll, it, it's interesting that Aunt, Aunt May now knows yeah, that yeah. his son is, uh, his uh, nephew is Spider-Man. And, and, and that took a long, I don't know if they did, uh, did that, at what point they did that in the comics, because I wasn't a big Spider-Man mm. fan, but all the time that I read Marvel comics when I was a kid, Aunt May had no idea. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I guess they have to do new stuff in order to keep the fans, you know, getting some surprises as well. Yeah, oh, I guess so. And it's obviously, it's completely possible that they've already done that. And done, they've done that several times in the comics, so what do I know? But for me, it was a new thing. Mm.